Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. Theater and performing arts groups have argued that tickets to allow at least 70% of the seats at theaters, concert halls, and movies should be allowed to go on sale, saying no secondary coronavirus infection has been attributed to attending cultural events. They also demanded loan support from commercial banks and rent subsidies from the government to protect workers in the cultural sector who have been dealt a heavy blow by the pandemic. Now former U.S. President Donald Trump pardoned 73 people and commuted the sentences of another 70 during his final hours in office. Trump's campaign advisor Steve Bannon received a full pardon for a fraud trial. He is yet to stand on charges of defrauding scores of donors to his Build a Border Wall fundraising campaign. And so did a Republican fundraiser, Elliot Broidy, who pleaded guilty to lobbying Trump on behalf of Chinese and Malaysian interests in violation of foreign lobbying laws. However, the former U.S. president did not issue preemptive pardons for himself or his family members. Finally, Alibaba founder Jack Ma made his first public appearance after having gone missing for months. He gave a speech to 100 rural teachers in China at a virtual event called Rural Teacher Initiative, where he argued Chinese entrepreneurs should be committed to promoting the state's vision of rural revitalization and co-prosperity. Ma had disappeared after publicly criticizing Chinese regulators for being anachronistic at a finance summit in Shanghai in October last year. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly discussion segment where we will assess the recent verdict against Samsung Vice Chairman Lee Jae-yong during news seminar.